Welcome everyone to another episode of Subnautica. Now, last episode was kind of a mess up for me. Uh, normally I build this and this whole season has been once we completed the storyline building big bases and doing just massive bases one way out there at the floating island. I've got the one down below. I've got uh, another one in the inactive lava zone just doing all these builds and normally I've had time to get things uh, prepared get supplies but last week it finally caught up with me even on this game where I was running out of time I didn't have enough supplies so I had to resort to console commands and some of that footage got accidentally left in the video that got originally uploaded so I got caught using the console commands when I've been trying to do this all the way up to now legitimately and it was working till I ran out of time in my schedule. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do a whole new base. I am abandoning the uh, underground, you know, mushroom cave base for now. I'm uh, ditching all the other ones, the big massive one over there, just ditching all of that for now so I can build a new base. And I actually have a concept in mind. You'll see the concept image I found. I looked for a lunar or Martian style base, something that could fit in the little crater in the dunes area. And while this is not a real render of a lunar type base or Martian base, it's the one that stood out to me in terms of the design that I felt I could actually create. So I've got the idea on how I want to build it. I know exactly what structures I want to use and I've already calculated out all the different supplies I'll need. I've also gathered some extra things just for some extra cosmetics to go around there. I've got some supplies there because I know there's certain things I'm going to have to make. But the main thing is I've got a bunch of lead, a bunch of quartz. I haven't even turned it into glass yet. And I have got a total of 100 titanium. I have three containers, three wall lockers here full. So that's 30 each. And then an additional, it should be like 10 in this one right here. Yeah, 10 titanium there. Hopefully that's enough. If not, then I will be coming back anyway to get supplies later in order to build a prawn suit to take over to that new base location. So that's basically what I'm doing today. We're going to head over into the dunes. And from what I remember, the easiest method for that is to pretty much head towards the mountain island. And from there, basically turns hard left which is going to be an easy thing to do. It's going to make it real quick and easy to get over there. But more importantly, I do need to go back this direction anyway towards safe shallows because I need to grab at least one piece of table coral sample. And right here, perfect, right next to some of the kelp forest and this little stretch here. And I'm not sure if that's fish bumping into my sub or if that's the uh, vines they're bumping in. But we got this big old group of coral right here. I'm going to take several samples, like I said, just to make sure I don't end up needing some more than I've accounted for in my planning, and I end up being stuck having to come back just to get that. And since it's a biological thing and this is all biological, we'll throw that in there. And something else, yeah, that's... Really, is that the creep vine that's just bumping into the side and making that noise? Because if it is, that is really loud. We are here now at the floating island. It is, yeah, I think about time to turn to west. And we'll just go due west. And that should pretty much get me almost on top of the crater, I believe, if I remember right. Okay, I'm passing over top one of the big pieces of Aurora wreckage. Yep, this is the one in the mushroom trees. So I am on a good track right now. At least as far as I remember, I should be on the right path now towards the dunes. Hopefully not too close to where the uh, Leviathans are. It's also probably a good time to go ahead and do a head slow. So I'm not too noisy as I'm coming into the dunes area. Because there are two Leviathans that patrol out this way. And see some nice glow over there. Looks like it could be maybe a tablet or... PDA of some kind, perhaps a piece of wreckage, or maybe just a really bright glowing plant. Oh, 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 about to wreck. Oh, and I hear, I hear a reaper in the distance. 
Oh, and of course, it's getting dark now. It's going to make it even harder to see where I'm at. I mean, I might even be in the crater right now that I'm looking for, and I cannot see well enough to tell. Oh, oh, yeah, there he is. All right, let's just be quiet. And he's going away. All right, he's going away. Just be quiet. A uh, little bit of damage. Oh, no, I sprung a leak. Oh, oh, the rock grub. I found a rock grub. Normally, I don't see these quickly enough to go and scan them. So that's helpful, and I do believe I am in the crater now. I'm pretty sure, because here is a nice spot. Uh, it's one of the, you know, uh, precursor spa uh, bases. I'm not sure if it's actually one of the teleporters at this point. I can't remember. I don't think it's a teleporter. I think it's just one of the, you know, caches. But I do believe, yes, if you see how I'm going up so steeply here, this is where the crater is. And there is Mr. Reaper Leviathan over there just past the ridge. So if that's the case, this is where I'm building my base. The more dangerous location of the bases at this point. And what I want to do is I'm actually going to build right here on top of the mound with three multi-purpose rooms stacked together so i've counted for three multi-purpose rooms two ladders to connect between them uh two hatches one for a lower level one for an upper level maybe and let's see uh moon pool and two foundations i want to have the foundation serve as like a landing pad for a uh, prawn suit later and then of course a scanner room because you know guys scan for resources and then I want to have some grow plots, things like that, in the uh, setup as well. So basically my count with everything I know for sure was 55 titanium. And with a little leeway for extra stuff, that's why I went ahead and brought 100 titanium. I also brought a little extra on everything else just in case I might need it. And fortunately there are outcroppings here. Not much, but you know, some copper, a little titanium, gold, silver. So if I need to, I can get stuff like that here. It's just not in very good quantities. And more importantly, not going to be that safe to venture too far over that way with Mr. Leviathan there. But at the least, I've planned also power-wise for hopefully two, uh, two thermal plants. I know there's thermal vents somewhere nearby. I just cannot remember exactly where nearby so i'm hoping that if they're not here in the nice nice crater that uh i will have at least some sort of uh reach that i can do to get to the thermal hot spots from here with the gold i've brought and the gold i'm finding and i'm just kind of like inching at this point, trying to get away from Reaper Leviathan guy and not attract him over here. And maybe get where I can actually aim my lights on my building area. That would be nice. Well, it's not full daylight yet, but yes, I am in the crater. You can see how this looks right here, which is why I wanted to come build here. Because it's a nice crater setup, it feels almost like it could be, you know, a moon crater. So the idea of it being almost like a lunar base is what I want to do here. So I'm going to go ahead and start with three multi-purpose rooms, which I need to switch back to my habitat builder. And we're going to do three multi-purpose rooms, hopefully on top of this. I was about to say, don't tell me I cannot build here after all my planning and forethought that I could come here and build a nice little lunar looking base and then no... Oh, oh, there we go. I was about to say, give me my stilts. I actually want the stilts in this case. So I want to look like it's set there. Stationary, nice and sturdy against Mr. Reaper Leviathan that's somewhere nearby waiting to attack. But, all right, so the idea is going to be the three multi-purpose rooms connected. I'm going to have a platform here, foundation pair that comes off. And the moon pool that comes off, so they actually, you kind of walk up onto the platform and use that to launch into the moon pool, which makes it a little bit easier. 
And let's go ahead and just grab a bunch of stuff because I'm not sure how many connectors I want to use. I kind of want to expand out a bit and I, oh yeah, I need to make my titanium ingots because I did not do that yet. That was one thing. I just went and got titanium, didn't worry about making anything with it. I got quartz. I didn't worry about making glass. I've just got the raw materials so I can make stuff as I need to. But I did prepare in the counts for those specific items. So, you know, instead of two titanium ingots, I brought 20 titanium. Uh, we'll start with the yeah, tube connector, tube compartment. And we're going to go with, we'll just do one. Oh, that might actually, well, no, that. Uh, I think I want to do it long. I think that's how I want to do it. I want to do it like that, sticking out. Instead of being from the side, I want to be long way sticking out. So we're going to have to do the connector here. And then do the moon pull that way. There we go. And then do the foundation right underneath. And hopefully this is going to line up well enough now. Well, now, now it's going to give me problems with the foundation not wanting to place correctly. Well, I just want, I just want my found, well, hey, if you know you, yeah, there we go, like that. Almost, instead of locking it in, what I'll do is I'll just build it as its own separate kind of thing. Oh, and I, I didn't get enough lead for this. Let me grab some more lead. Oh, and I'm already hemorrhaging water in there. My, I, I was coming back with my lead and I'm already hearing the water. Like the creaking from the base. I need to get my lithium. Let's see. I brought lithium for this reason. Because I knew I would have to make some reinforcements. Oh, yep. It's already starting. Let's go ahead and I'll throw them on. Let's see, the, the middle one should be suitable. And I'll go and I'll repair everything. But yeah, this is already starting to break. There we go. Yes. Oh, you can hear the water spraying inside. I've got to go in and fix the leaks. Ah. Look at that. My moon pool is already flooded completely. Just, I haven't even got in yet, and my moon pool is flooded completely already. All right, let's get that done. And... Does that actually count? Did that actually count towards the base? No, it does not. <laughs> so I got the default 10 plus 2 plus 2. So this counts as its own separate base, but it's lined up perfectly underneath. So jump up here, walk forward, and then jump up a little ways with the prawn suit. That's going to work perfectly. And it's just its own little base. So now I have no power for this. I do know one thing I can do. I'm going to do a grow bed up here because I want some, you know, nice lighting, at least some kind of signal lighting that would be seen from a distance. And one of the cheap ways to do that is the uh, creep vine seed clusters. Throw one of those in there, let it grow, let it produce its own seed clusters, and it will glow very brightly. So we're going to put that in, and then I am going to do a hatch. There we go. So just one of those, and I'll have some utility plants as well we'll do a hatch on this side right there so that gets me inside it's still full of water because i haven't been able to fix all the uh leaks in this part that means also in the middle section too i'm gonna have to go fix them it means i've got to get the ladders actually built first all right we're going to go of course uh, we'll do far side, you know, because I'm coming in that way. Downstairs will be other side. And here's my other water leak area. Ah. What you want to just say hull integrity restored, even though it's technically not restored because there's still leaks everywhere. All right. There goes that. Now we're going to do another ladder here. That gets me... Oh, look at how fast it drained. I just had to put the ladder in place and poof, everything sucked out to the lowest level. And now it's slowly getting drained that way. And I was right. Right over here. Past the sand sharks. There's 
the Cabo Wabo. Here's the thermal vent. So one, maybe two power transmitters and I can get here. Oh, look at that. Yes, nice, lovely uh, air bubbles here. And, oh, oh, yes, some ruby. Oh, hey. Wow, they're ganging up on me. There's three of them after me. Oh, and big guys after me. Or not. I, I heard him like he was after me, you know, loud and clear, like he was right behind me. And then he's kind of sticking his head up through the sand there. So I don't like about the Reaper Leviathans. They, oh, and the Ghost Leviathans, they do not interact with walls and buildings the way they're supposed to. I'm pretty sure I can get two placed on there. And oh, there he is. He came out. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, he's not going to, like, bother me right now. Let's see. Let me just get this placed here, Mr. Reaper Leviathan. I know I look tasty, but I, I really am not. I'm, I haven't been eating right. You know, my diet's been off since I crashed here. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be really bad tasting. So, uh, just, you know, ignore me. Go about your business. Oh, and, uh... Diamond perhaps in the distance there. I don't think it's quartz. I think it's got to be diamond All right, there's the Cabo Wabo Let's see. Is it is it quartz? Yes yeah, quartz. All right, so I've got some extra quartz over here But first we're going to put down a Power transmitter because you know, I need to send the power out to my base and I did find some more gold recently, so I've got extra. Oh, yeah, nice big quartz outcropping. But yeah, this should cover the base, I would expect. I should be able to make it reach. Maybe. We'll see. We'll start down here nice and low. And what makes sure I attach it to this base, not to uh, the standalone platform? That would not work so well. And no, it's not going to reach. Uh, come on. W which way was it? I can't see anymore. I guess I am going to have to make an extra power transmitter. Um, okay, there we go. So I should have it reach here. Yep, all right, right here. That's fine, right on the edge. Good enough. Look at that. Oh, and it works. And you can see the lights all turn on right then in the distance. That looked cool, especially with it being so dark. It just, everything turned on right then. Oh, that was just very nice timing and not intentional. And there we go. Scanner room is in place as well. And so now I need some lighting. And like I said, I want to kind of try to use the natural lighting from the creep vines. So when these grow and start sprouting clusters, that will show off around the area. I'm thinking... Yeah, let's see. We'll do like around the edge of this spot. So if it's like right there, I'll do it lined up right here like that. So we'll have a bed right here if I can get to place or not. I think it's not close enough to my uh, actual base. I need to place it on something else. So oh, that may not work the way I was hoping to. I was hoping to have it all spread out, kind of like marker lights, and it's not going to work. That looks really nice. It looks like a lunar base kind of thing. Like, you come up over the edge from doing some exploring, you know, you're on the, the moon surface, and then you come across, you're like, oh, hey, there's the base down there. All right, let's ease the way down and look at Mr. Sandshark that he's stuck. He got stuck. Oh, he's not stuck anymore. He came after me. Why? Why? I was going to come help you. Four wall lockers. Fabricator. I still have some stuff left. So I'm actually in a pretty decent spot other than the fact that, uh, oh, that might be a bad idea right there. Ooh. Yeah, I think the ladder is going to have to come out for, uh, that spot. I can't do the ladder there. We'll have to do it on this side. That's just not going to work. I don't want to be bumping over it every time I try to walk through to get to the 
to get over there to the scanner room. We're coming out of the scanner room. So, yeah, we'll move over here. Hopefully, this does not put me right on top of the... Oh, good. No, not on top of my planner. So, I come in this way. It's straight ahead. Go up. It's there in between both sides. So, that's great. So, if I want to, I can always put, like, uh, you know, alien containment in the middle floor and be fine. I will need to get some uh, range upgrades going. I've got the scanner. Oh, I've got some... No, I don't have any extra magnetite. I only brought enough. So I will have to bring some magnetite back with me when I come back here again. Uh, ooh, ion cube. I can actually detect ion cubes with this. That's going to be in that precursor cache. And then heat area, all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got all that stuff. Reaper Leviathan. You know, I've never actually tried to scan for one of them. I want to see if he'll pick him up and I can see him moving. Like right there. Yes, I can see him moving there. It shows him that way. Oh, there it goes. It finally updated. So it does update with the things that actually move. Like, it just takes a few seconds. I guess the, the scan cycle, every time it scans, then it's like, oh, hey, you need to update with this because it's there. See, yeah, it's about, I think it was that 15 seconds. That's interesting. I've never actually tried to track a moving target that I can't remember. All right, so I've got... Supplies, I've got scanning for that. And I'm at a pretty decent little spot here. I mean, nice, you know, not too fancy. I might put some windows in here so I can actually look out a bit. I may do that here as well. I mean, well, I've already covered up that wall. Uh, I'm torn now. I might move those off of that wall and put them here so I can do all four corners. Yeah, let's do that. I like the idea of having the top floor being uh, able to see out. I think that's going to be nice. Oh, no, it's not. It's just not going to work here. All right, we're going to do three here because I like the idea of having the windows more than I like having wall lockers in this case. Come on, there we go. All right, so three wall lockers, and we're going to do windows. And got some glass. What I need is, oh, I got quartz. I need to make glass and actually do, I can make, here we go. First bit of production in the new base and I have to go get more quartz from there, but I've actually got that. I can make one window. Let's see how it looks at least. And, oh, look at that. Yeah, that's gonna look nice. So we're gonna stick with that. I'm gonna do the windows. Let's go grab some more quartz off of the Cyclops. All right, there we go. So the first creep vine seed cluster has spawned on that creep vine growth. And you can see it's giving me that nice glow. So that will grow uh, and start glowing too. That one will. That's going to be a nice row of three lights that reduces the amount of light I need to actually make in terms of Welcome regular, you know, electrical lights here. So that's a nice natural solution. And I like the way it looks from a distance. That nice, you know, warm glow. It's not that cold, white, bluish glow that we normally have. And, oh wait, I have one more piece of glass I need to make. Three more windows, not two. So, window! 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 Done. Let's look. Alright, so a little bit of glow there. From that, nice little spot there. This may be a case I see how much lighting I can produce on the outside. Not with the not with the creep vine, but with actual, you know, outdoor floodlights. And see how many I can actually get set up and shining outside on the crater area. Make it look like an actual research site type thing. Let's see. I've got some more quartz left. And I know there's some nearby. Let's see what I can produce today in terms of the lighting. I don't even have to complete them. They're already lit up. Maybe if I don't complete them, then I get free power out of it. Like, they don't actually draw power. They just work. And why are you not working now? Oh! Duh, that's right. This counts as a separate base entity. So, that won't work there. They, they will not... Uh, do anything. I might put some extra uh, grow beds in there or something like that to as like a guide of, hey, come in here. 
Maybe if I can get it to line up with this one. Let's see. Let, let's let's get this. Hmm. You know, I could try to do like underneath and put one in each direction. Let's see how that will work. Uh, yeah, I could do that kind of like a, you know, ring underneath all of them facing that way. That should count as being part of the main base. There it goes. Yes, I was getting worried. I was like, don't tell me it's not going to work on this one either. All right, so I've got that one. I'm going to uh, probably block myself in, it looks like. Or I don't know, maybe if I just do it like this. And then I do it like this. So I have them all set and then I'll just, you know, swim out before I finish them so I don't get stuck. All right, so that's four. And that's all of my titanium that I have at the moment. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at how much that's lighting things up now. Just those four lighting everything up. That's got really good range on the lighting itself. And then when those come in, that would be a nice little just signal track. I could put more, you know, things up here to grow if I need to. Maybe an extra bit of creek vine, you know, with C clusters make it even brighter. Oh, yeah, look at that. Let's get a bit higher up, take a nice look at this before I go get some more air. You can actually see the crater decently now. It's actually lit up pretty well. That is looking so much better now. And I may add even more lighting all around, like put one in each corner on this and put one around each corner on that facing down one over here. I, I may put a lot of lighting here. Just make sure this whole place is lit up as much as possible. But for now, I've actually got a good start. I'm very pleased with the way this is starting to turn out. I am already way down on my resources, but I can actually see nicely. I know there's good resources nearby. So I can still get some more stuff while I'm here before I head back. But when I finally head back, I'll be going back to get all the other stuff, make a prawn suit and bring it back over here and get that done. So I think that's what we'll be aiming for next week is try to get some more stuff tidied up here. And then I am going to have to start the very long process of working on tidying up everything else. All right, well, that is it for today's episode. Like I said, I will continue work on this next week, and then I'm going to be planning everything to finish up decorative work, aesthetics, everything on the other bases, getting it all done, because I'm honestly ready to be done with the season. I am ready to start a new season on this, and I've already got an idea of what I want to do for that season. Uh, so we'll be doing that very shortly in the next few weeks, because I want to go ahead and get this wrapped up, get that one started, and then hopefully sometime end of the year, maybe beginning, I know they said the next few months they're going to have early access for the new expansion. What was going to be a DLC is now a standalone expansion for this where we're in the Arctic biome. We're going to have some new things, but it's going to be early access. So that means we can get access to it like we did with this one early off and get to see it develop. And I'm really looking forward to that. So I'm hoping we get this season done and another good season done before they release that. So we can then dive right into that. But again, that's it for today. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week and I will see you in the next video.